The camera is the Nikon Z6, it's a mirrorless full frame and it's got a 24 to 70 millimeter lens on it. And when you're doing live broadcasting or video capture, you need a product that's going to connect between your camera and your computer. And that's where this comes in. This is the uh, Pengo. Uh, it's uh, the Pengo HDMI 1080p grabber. Now, I will tell you straight away, if you want to pick this up for yourself, it's a much cheaper price than competitors' products, and there are links down in the video description to where you can pick this up. And where this would fit into your setup is you would have your camera on your tripod, and then you'd have an HDMI cable, be it micro, mini, or full-size HDMI, and then you would plug that into this device. And then this device has obviously the HDMI input here, and then it has a USB-C on the opposing end. Uh, it's a really neat little product. This is what it looks like. Very, very neat metal casing on it, a uh, short captive cable that's gonna go into your computer, and then obviously HDMI on this end. And uh, Pengo very kindly sent me this out to test, and I must say, it's performed extremely well. Uh, also inside the box, as well as the, the hardware product itself, you do get a little uh, sort of getting started guide. You do also get a USB-A to USB-C adapter. So this is gonna allow you to connect uh, the, uh, the uh, Pengo to an older USB 3 type legacy connection. But USB-C on that end, and then the USB-A on that end. And then I'm gonna actually just show you the back of the box very briefly. So if you're watching this back uh, after the live broadcast, you can pause the video and uh, read the specifications for yourself. I'll give you a brief recap on it, but I more wanna, uh, I'm more in, in kind of talking about how it's actually performed. So it works on Mac OS, it also works on Windows. It captures or live broadcasts with various software uh, up to 1080p 60 frames per second. Uh, obviously USB uh, 3 support on here as well. Uh, supports HDMI 1.4b, which obviously caps out 1080p 60 frames per second, 24-bit color, and it's compatible with third-party applications such as Pop Player, QuickTime, OBS, XSplit, and vMix. Uh, now, it doesn't need an external power supply, which is really good, it is bus powered. So you simply plug this in, to your computer, put your HDMI input in this end, and it doesn't have to be a camera, I'm just using live streaming as, as an example. It could be a console. If, as long as you turn off HD, I think it's HDCP support that you have to turn off. As long as you turn that off, then uh, you can actually connect things like games consoles, maybe a Nintendo Switch, uh, maybe you've got an older video camera, that you want to connect to this to uh, sort of grab the video off of uh, an old analog camera perhaps and convert it into digital. So you simply plug that into the HDMI port and then into the other end, this goes into your computer. So very, very good indeed. Really nicely made. Now I want to talk to you about how this has been working. It's been working extremely well. I did have some initial problems when I was testing it with the Nikon Z6. Uh, but once I got the settings dialed in on the camera end, I just had to change the... Um, uh, the, the video resolution on the video settings on the camera, uh, then it sort of kicked into gear and worked extremely well. Uh, so definitely works with a mirrorless camera. It will work with a DSLR as well and a camcorder, as long as you've got some sort of HDMI output. That's the requirement, is you need HDMI output. I forgot to mention, as well as those other applications, it will also work with the likes of VLC as well. Uh, and it definitely works with OBS. The, the software that I'm using now. Uh, video quality, really very good. It's just a simple plug and play solution. Uh, and I think they've done a fantastic job with this. So I can highly recommend it. Uh, that is it for this review. I've left links down in the video description to both the Pengo website and also to where you can actually pick this up for yourself. So please do use those links if you wanna give this product a try for yourself and I think it's a, a nice little saving over competitors products and well worth considering especially if you do a lot of live streaming a lot of live broadcasts on Twitch YouTube etc uh, very worthwhile product and it means you can step up your, your video game as well so that's it for this review I've just seen best of dancehall tune in 
Thank you very much for tuning in live. I really do appreciate it. Uh, sorry you missed the live broadcast. It's been going for a little while, but if you want to watch after the live broadcast, this video will be available on the main Geek and Noise channel. So that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in another video very, very soon. That is a good product. It's amazing, actually, how these products come down in price. I think they've done a great job on this. Well done, Pengo.